Aquarius. Hi, I'm your host Tina. Welcome to my channel. Today we are checking in on your energies for this first week of February. Happy birthday, by the way, to Aquarius. It is your season right now. All right, let me go ahead and give these cards a few shuffles here. Let's see what's happening for you this week. I do like to pull two layers. We are going to get into the first one now. So let's see for Aquarius. February 1st to the 8th, to the 7th, to the 7th, to the 8th. All right, let's, let's calm it down. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords, trying to move on a wish come true here, trying to move on a personal wish come true that will make you happy but feeling stuck. Let me go ahead and give them a couple shuffles. Let's see what's happening. All right, stop here. Eight of Wands is at the bottom. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oof. Change in direction, trying to move. We got three twos on here. Two of Wands, two of Swords, two of Pentacles. All twos represent direction change. Um, but the situation is the two of swords here, crossroads. I'm, even the first few cards, like you're trying to move, you're trying to turn this wheel, but something within your thoughts is like slowing it down or holding it back. I don't know which one it is, but something in your thoughts, let me tell you, is slowing it down or holding it back. Even with those first three cards that came out, it's kind of like a similar general energy here. Recent past two of wands, right? This is you saying we need to change direction, but it's feeling empowered. That was the recent past, but this week it's feeling more stuck, right? It's feeling more stuck, feeling at a crossroads, right? Even though it's like, you definitely know which way you wanna go, Aquarius, honestly. It's just, I feel like you don't like your choices right now for some reason. Um, I think, I think um, for some of you, you're having trouble seeing what is right in front of you. And I definitely, for whatever reason, even though the Eight of Swords is not down here right now, it did come out when they fell out. And I just feel like there's a level of overthinking and thoughts getting in the way of progress this week. This is just the first layer, so don't even worry. We're going to pull a second card, get a deeper understanding of what is happening here. I'm in the challenge position, though. We have the Emperor, right? You know, the Emperor is about, like, having the structure in place, having strong boundaries, a strong foundation, right? You know, um, it's about the discipline required to have all of that. You know, the emperor is also an authority figure, absolutely, but it's, it's taking action. It's about action. It's about having, you know, again, firm boundaries, you know, a firm foundation here. So, you know, just take what you will, take what resonates here. On your mind, we do have the three of swords here, so... I mean, it could just be worries and it could just be fear, but there could very much be a serious, like a real heartbreak that's on your mind. It may not just be something that you're like worried about, right? That you're just afraid of. This could be something very much that has happened with the Three of Swords. Because your approach here is the Ten of Swords, right? It's like not moving, feeling down right now, just, just swimming in whatever that emotion is, right? Not that we should ever avoid the emotion, but it's good to feel it, but not let it overcome us. In the environment, we have the two of pentacles. You know, it's juggling. Um, I just feel like there's a juggling act. It's just a lot of, I don't know, day-to-day -day responsibilities for some of you. Um, but it's a fine line to keeping that balance, right? Like it can easily, if you're not right on top of it, can easily, like the pendulum can easily swing from one extreme to another. But still balance is being maintained. Coming towards you though, the star beautiful energy your own energy you know yes it speaks of a wish come true definitely but it speaks about like things falling into alignment and starting to have this renewed hope and this renewed faith right um so it's like feeling comfortable in your skin overall energy is a knight of wands there's like ambitious kind of adventurous a bit impulsive type of energy um you know the knight of wands is you know it's younger it's younger you know, all the like court cards represent personalities and the knight is like a teenager. So it's got like a very teenager youthful energy to it, definitely. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening. Let's pull a second layer here for you. Yeah, at the bottom of this deck, we got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, let's see. All right, Aquarius. And two, 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 yeah. Let's see what's happening. 
But I love that the star is coming towards you. All right. Yeah, repeated energies. Yeah, you got a decision to make. I mean, there's a crossroads here. Again, I feel like you know what you need to do. It's just you don't like your choice here. Um, yeah, yeah, another two came out. Overall energy, two of wands with the knight of wands, right? It's like wanting to quickly change direction, quickly make plans, maybe, you know, but you need to make sure they're built, you know, that you're, you plan for success, you know what I mean? Um, try to think of, you, you could never think of everything, so like, of course, take it with a grain of salt, but, you know, if, if you have thoughts, don't wash over them, right? If there's something that you know that you should have a strategy about, don't think it's not important, because if it's come up in your mind, then it's important. But all right, situation, what can I say? Three of swords, two of swords. Something is either really scaring you or there's some pain here that's holding you back in this crossroads. It's on your mind anyway and on your mind connected with the Three of Swords, Aquarius, is judgment. Boom, you got a decision you need to make. Something's not serving your highest good anymore. But it's just not. And in your recent past, we have the Seven of Pentacles, right? That means you took a good hard look at your life. You saw an area here that was probably just an energy sucker, energy vampire meaning you, you were giving it all this energy, you were nurturing it, you were giving it your all your time, your resources, your love, your money, whatever it is that you were giving it. And you're finding that it wasn't worth it, right? It wasn't giving back to you. And so you're like, should I keep investing in some area? And like, clearly no, right? Not with these cards here. Not with the cards here. It's like you need a little bit of courage to take this like step in this new direction. You're doing this back and forth, back and forth. You know, I, I feel you already know what decision you need to make, Aquarius. I really do. I just, for me, based on these cards, I mean, there's no doubt about it. And I, I, I see you're starting to shed light on it more, too, because your approach here is the sun with the Ten of Swords. So it's like you're saying, I need to pick up. I need to keep it moving, right? It's putting some light on whatever this is that's like was holding you down or making you feel like you didn't have the strength to get up to keep fighting or to keep going in a new direction. And like, I feel like accepting that something is the end here. With the 10 of swords, the beauty of the 10 of swords is um, that whatever the situation is that's caused you pain or hurt or anything like that, the, the worst has already happened. That's what the 10 indicates, right? It's the end of that cycle. So the worst has already happened. Um, but there's a level of like, you know you've got a decision you need to make here. You know something was not either bringing out the best in you or serving your highest good anymore. You just know it and you just, I feel like you just don't like your choice. You don't like the, cho or you don't like the choice you have to make. Sorry, not that you don't like your choice, but you don't like the choice you need to make. And it's kept you in this like limbo, right? Like this back and forth, back and forth. And it's like you're just standing at the beginning of this crossroads and not taking that first step, right? So you're neither there anymore, really, let's be honest, like energetically speaking, you're not there anymore anyway. You're really not. Um, and maybe for some of you, it's been a while that since you've been there, but you're neither in this new path either, right? You're not there either. It's time to start making a choice, you know, and you know, it's going to shape your future for sure. It's going to change things, but you got a big decision here and it's like, it's on your mind, you know it. You're shedding light on what's happening here. You're starting to see the possibility of happiness, maybe. Or maybe you're like, I need to be happy. I can't be like this. I can't stay like this, you know. Any one of those, really. But with the overall energy, there's a sense of impulsiveness. So I just like to warn with that, of course. Um, and maybe it's not impulsive. Maybe it's just like adventurous. Maybe you're starting to really see the light on the other side, right? Um, in the environment again I just I see you're starting to entertain this new direction maybe where you thought you just hated the choice before or you really didn't like it before now you're starting to see some potential in it you really are you're starting to be open to like learning more about it seeing that like maybe something can really grow here maybe you can grow there right um, you know that page of wands is that student energy so this is you really looking in this new direction feeling inspired a little bit now. I'm not saying you're totally, because energetically, you're not in the old space. You're just not. You're not in the old space anymore, but it's like, it's like a limbo, but you're neither in the new space either. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but you get my point. You get my drift. Um, you're not there, you're not there, right? It's like this limbo in between land. Um, you're, in, you're in the space of opportunity, right? You're in the space of hypothetical. That's where you're at, where we make those choices, where we choose, right? And, and something just hurts you, right? Or it scares you. It's one of these. It's hurting you or it's scaring you. And maybe it's both, right? But definitely we have four twos now on the spread. Two, 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 yeah. Four twos. And twos, I mean, again, it's, it's a change of direction, right? The only two I don't see here is the two of cups. We have the two of wands, the two of swords, the two of pentacles, and another two of wands. It's a change of direction. If I saw the two of cups, you'd be happy, right? This one's like, you're not happy with it. You don't like doing it. But you're starting to definitely see the potential in this new direction. All right, coming towards you. It's a beautiful star energy and the high priestess. Introspection. Intuition. You know, going within. Listening to the voice within, right? About what you really want. What's this wish come true for you? About how do you get back into alignment? With yourself how do you get to this place of feeling like you're not pouring from an empty cup just like the star who's got like two vessels and one in each hand and is pouring out is not taking anything in because she's full she's full naked as well right there's a lot of self-acceptance a lot of authenticity right something that's much more in alignment with you something fell out of alignment without a doubt Something fell out of alignment, and now you're like, what's coming towards you is stepping back into alignment here. But it's going to require making a choice here. Taking that first step here. Seeing the potential in, in movement. But definitely stepping back into alignment. Listening to your inner voice. That's what's coming towards you by the end of this week. Okay. I'm going to leave it there for you, Aquarius. Of course, I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If anything resonates, like and subscribe. Thank you, as always, for letting me tune into your energies. I'll see you all next week.